last, I don't know, few months when they were talking about how the surge isn't working, a stupid idea, General Betrayus, Bush is an idiot. How could he think only 20 or 30,000 more troops is going to help? What a moron. Mr. Bush, this is madness. This is madness. Have you ever seen him on the set on that show, Angry Rich? No. I have the feeling that that chair is actually mounted in a crib. Just a little, you know, infant's crib. He's got these little rattle toys, and he bawls his little eyes out when the president doesn't do what he wants. Anyway, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis, ignoring the advice of Bata Boy, the weekend sportscaster, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis are returning home. We have shown them that we will let our own people be killed for no good reason. Uh, we have now shown them uh, that we will continue to do so. Uh, we have shown them our oh, stupidity. Save me! When is NBC going to take its sportscasters out of the news analysis business? Resign. Now, NBC News itself has repudiated him. The New York Times has repudiated him. The Washington Post has, Newsweek has, the major networks has, NPR has, and even Bicycle Jack Cafferty over there on Wolf Blitzer show has. Thank you, Dr. Blitzer. Karnak time. George Bush made the turkey and flower the turkey. Name three creatures who will eventually all need pardons. All that and more now on Countdown. Unbelievable. Just dumb. On the day that the New York Times announced breathlessly the surge is working, Scott McClellan gave Bathtub Boy something to talk about. And he's making it into Watergate. Brought out, rolled out John Dean. The old John Dean was... Uh, the guy's on every other day. Finally, it's apropos. Well, it, is he in a wheelchair now? I think he lives in the studio there. Well, Him a, and Michael Musto. That's my studio. I used to sit in that chair. NBC and Burbank. I love that chair. I hate giving it up to John Dean. Those 121 words portray President Bush as, at best, a passively involved liar in chief. Now, today, uh, McClellan, you know, hearing garbage like that, uh, issued a uh, an updated statement from his publisher. Scott McClellan does not believe President Bush lied to him about the role of White House aide Scooter Libby or Karl Rove in this leak we've been talking about. What is Bathtub Boy doing now? He appears to be making me the second worst person in the world. Right. And calling me Bathtub Head? Yes. A clear admission that he reads certain sites. I call him Bathtub Boy because he wouldn't get out of his tub for the entire Clinton Lewinsky mess. He was so afraid of going on television and having something to do with impeaching a Democrat. And here's the big shocker. What he talked about is something off of Media Matters. Isn't no, that no weird? Kidding. From Media Matters to the teleprompter. Speaking of which, our runner-up, John Gibson, Fox Noises host of the bit. Oh, I'm sorry, co-host. That's right. How's that working out for you? Well, actually, really Asks well. a slightly loaded question of a guest. Quote, we can't help notice that we haven't been attacked. And yet we see the Democrats in Congress continuing to try to surrender, if you will. The Democrats have vowed more failure. And they put up the graphic, Dems vow more failure. What you're missing here, bathtub head, is called the logical fallacy. But just because event A, the Iraq war, is followed by event B, attacks or no attacks, event A did not necessarily cause event B. You might as well tie the lack of attacks to the fact that you host a show on Fox No... I'm sorry, co-host. Sorry, sorry. He must not like Heather Nauert. Do you think he doesn't like girls? Is that the deal? Gorgeous. Well, we know he likes young girls. <laughs> ah, this is great. Bathtub head, huh? Sportscaster dabbling in politics, left out hanging out to dry by the New York Times, his own network, on his pronouncements on the criminal George Bush. His own network has confirmed the surge is working. He has demanded the president resign over the surge. No, he has demanded the president be jailed over the surge. He wants Bush in prison and his own network reporting from the field where he's never been oh except the sports field well he's not been there either what you're missing here bathtub head bathtub head what does that mean bathtub boy means something you wouldn't get out of your tub i had to do your show for you 
day after day after day when I'd already been on the air three hours because you were afraid of reporting news that might cause some real trouble in the world. You were a coward then when it was Bill Clinton. And you're so brave now when it's George Bush. And so wrong. Wrong. Idiotic. And I ought to go back to sports casting. Not half bad there, though. He burned all those bridges. Remember? I love seeing the players disdain for him since he has never played anything, anything. You're listening to John Gibson. Hello, John. Um, I, I'm not John, Mr. President. Ah. But I could be. Well. Just tag it, Mr. President. John Gibson on Fox News Talk. 